I was not expecting this to come through the mail so soon. This is the Basma Beauty Foundation. I got the foundation stick and the new blushes from Basma Beauty. They contacted me and they were like, do you want to try our products out? Because they have launched international shipping. But it does say Basma Times Sephora on the back. So I don't know if it will be at Sephora UK as well. Maybe it will come soon. I don't know. But we are going to swatch these foundation shades. Hopefully there's a match for me. I feel like it might be a little bit warm, but I think, I don't know. And as usual, we will do a wear test to see how this wears throughout the day, but I have seen really, really good reviews on this. And I just put a disclaimer out there, that means worse sense to me, but I have no obligation to post about them. As always, I keep my opinions honest and I may or may not like this product. And that's why we do these reviews. I just wanted to put that out there. I've never seen a packaging like this. It just makes me want to draw on my face. This is the shade 17 and I think the match is going to be pretty good. The only thing is I am more of a neutral undertone. This has more of a warm golden undertone. I know it looks like I'm warm but trust me I'm not. I have a very green olivey veins and if you put like a yellow warm foundation on me it really shows through but if you use something neutral like something like the house labs um skin tech foundation in 330 uh, medium cool this has neutral undertones it's like the perfect match this is 32 pounds you get 6.3 grams worth of product you also have really flexible coverage light to full so i really like that you can just play around with it and it's supposed to give like a dewy fresh look which is right up my street you guys know that i didn't realize that the higher the shade number goes the lighter it gets but I was also sent 19 and I think 19 might be even better this one right here this one is for tan skin with warm undertone I just like that we have less of that golden orangey because if you compare it to the 17 you can really see the golden undertones in the 17 compared to the 19 I have options with this and I'm loving the shade range I'm not gonna lie the shade range is pretty good could get away with five or six shades here I also got sh uh, sent the a shade 10 which I think might be great to like do a little bit of a bronzer that's what 10 looks like okay let's waste no time let's start with 19 19 wear 19 wear. I'm not gonna lie, the guys at Basma got this shade on point. I would have, I don't think I would have picked this shade unless it oxidizes, which is a different story. But let's go in with 17 and let's see what 10 looks like. 10 would be like a perfect bronzer shade. I think 19 is perfect. Look how it just blends, it's like disappearing into my skin. You can't even see the swatch anymore. Okay, we're gonna go in with 19. Oh, this is, this is fun. Look at this. I feel like a child. I feel like a kid again. Did I need that much? Probably not. Just be careful not to put too much product out if you do get this, because you don't want to break it. It is quite a thin tube. I'm gonna use my Doll Beauty foundation brush to just blend this out. That blended really, really nicely. I'm just gonna put a bit more here. And just cover any areas where I feel like I want a bit more coverage. Yep. I have no complaints. It looks good. It looks good. Now let's try 10. Are you seeing how easy this is blending? How many times I've put bronzer here and I've just walked out like that because and I've forgotten to blend it out? So embarrassing. This shade as well is really nice. It's one side, and the other side with that. Taking a bit on my brush and doing my nose with it. Bit of my hourglass concealer. This is really full coverage, so I don't want to put too much. Bit of my nose. Guys, I'm really liking this. Blend it out. Usually I do the concealer first, but it's all good. I feel like they knew me when they sent these products. They sent me two blush shades. To use your fingers to apply. Natural satin-like finish, buildable from sheer to bold, for cheeks and lips only. Okay, these are the blush shades. I'm gonna use the burnt orange one, and this is fuchsia. That is a swatch of it. I'm just gonna go in with this. I'm just using my fingers, because why not? Guys, it's so pretty. 
and it's so easy to blend i'm literally just using my finger definitely approve the blush Should i put it on my lips i don't know i like that muted red color on the lips so this is really nice and it's not drying at all i need some powder right now so i'm just gonna set my under eye blend it guys it's really 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 nice foundation like i literally have nothing bad to say it's right on my street it's light it looks soft it looks diffused my skin looks amazing and i look healthy i don't know if you have super oily skin like if you're gonna like this like it's not super dewy. there is a bit of shine transferring to my hand so you might need to powder up or use a mattifying primer underneath if you do have oily skin but i don't think it's overly dewy to the point where like a, an, a person with oily skin could not wear it for like with the right prep and setting powder it would work perfectly but let's see how this will wear throughout the day just about to hit 1 p.m so let's wear this throughout the day try and wear this as long as possible and we'll see what this looks like later on today it just hit 7 p.m so i've been wearing it for about six hours and i think that's a fair amount of time I mean, doesn't the makeup still look really fresh? I love the way this looked in daylight. It just looks like skin. It's comfortable. I've done like a whole workout of sweated and it looks like this. I'm off a little bit on my nose. No smile lines, to be honest. Here's a close up so you guys can really see. Definitely a high-end foundation, but it's not, but it's still reasonably priced, unlike some £50 plus foundations out there. No, I definitely approve of this. Really like it. I'll definitely be using this. I think this is more like an everyday foundation for me, but you can definitely wear a whole glam. I wouldn't say it's my go-to. Like I definitely have other foundations. Obviously, my nails light reflecting, house lab, skin tech would be my go-to or even the fenty luminous foundation but this is up there just wouldn't say it'll be like my first one to reach for but you can see like it's bomb but yeah i would still give this a solid eight nine out of ten foundation it's a pretty decent foundation in my opinion and you can just tell after six hours it looks pretty good oh, and the blush i love the blush i'll definitely be using that quite a lot like the shade as well chef's kiss especially that burnt orange but yeah i hope you found this review and wear test helpful let me know if you've ever heard of the brand if it's new to you or you've been like dying to try it out but you're just waiting for a review in your skin tone maybe i don't know anyways thank you so much for watching as always love you guys and i'll see you in my next one